Pennsylvania League of Angling Youth. Summer 2015, a day at the lake, it's a summertime break. Written by Walt Dietz and Alan Schreffler. Editor, Spring Gearhart. Illustrations, Ted Walk and Take Me Fishing. Photos, Spring Gearhart and the PA Fish and Boat Commission archives. Read by Walt Dietz. A day at the lake, it's a summertime break. What are you doing this summer? Do you stay indoors and watch television or play video games? Or do you go outside to play with your friends? How about taking a break from the usual and exploring a lake? Try some fishing, paddling, power boating, tubing, or water skiing. It's a great way to spend a summer day out with your family or friends. But you'll need some equipment and knowledge of basic skills in order to stay safe and have an enjoyable time. Read on to learn more about planning a fun day at the lake. Getting started fishing fun. Fishing is fun and it's easy to get started. Follow the tackling a tackle box list and create your very own tackle box. Tackling a tackle box includes hooks, sinkers, bobbers, fingernail clippers, needle nose pliers, jigs, spinners, crankbaits, surface lures, fish stringer, measuring tape, extra fishing line spool, sunglasses, and small first aid kit. You want to go fishing but not sure where to go? Visit www.pabestfishing.com. These waterways are handpicked based on their fish populations and easy access. This resource will help you find success and plan your day at the lake. Luring lunkers with lures. Do you need some help choosing a lure or not sure how each one works? Jigs. These have weighted heads and hooks that are paired with soft plastic hair or feathers to wiggle to attract fish. Spinners. These are lures with blades that spin to create flash and vibration. Crankbaits. These are bait fish imitations with plastic lips that cause them to dive and wiggle. Surface lures. These are lures that splash or pop on surface when reeled in. Kitchen baits. Sometimes it's better just to create your own. It's fine if you don't have time to visit a local bait shop. There are plenty of options in your own house. Raid your parents' kitchen, but with their permission. The list includes hot dogs, chicken livers, canned meat, corn, bread, lunch meats, cheese, marshmallows, macaroni, peas, shrimp, and shredded wheat. Or try a fishy recipe. Try making your own dough balls. They work great for carp and catfish. Follow this recipe and see what you can catch. Ingredients include flour, cornmeal, sugar, and water. Mix the four ingredients. The amounts of each are up to you. Just make sure the end result is a doughy consistency. You may even want to add some flavor. Try mixing extracts with the dough. Vanilla, licorice, orange, lemon, Maple, almond, peppermint, or wintergreen may be in your kitchen cupboard. You can try your own combinations and find out what is most successful. Many anglers also add gelatin powder mixed to their dough to create an irresistible bait that works for both carp and catfish. Basic boating safety. All boats have one thing in common, safety. No matter what type of boat you try, make sure you bring the right equipment and you know how to use it. The most important piece of safety equipment is a life jacket. Everyone must have one and anyone 12 years of age and under must wear it while underway in a canoe, kayak, 
or boat under 20 feet in length. There are many types of life jackets. Your best choice for a day out on the lake will probably be a near shore buoyant vest or flotation aid. A near shore buoyant vest is a good low cost option and is great for beginners. A flotation aid is a good compromise between comfort, function, and cost. Life jacket choices include an offshore life jacket, a nearshore buoyant vest, a flotation aid, or a special use device. Don't forget throwable devices. A throwable device must have a minimum of 16.5 pounds of buoyancy and is designed to be grasped and not worn. Examples include a buoy, or seat cushion. Find your fit. A properly fitted life jacket is more comfortable and will function better. Avoid a life jacket that is too large. If you fall into the water, it can slip over your head. Get a good fit with the touchdown test. Raise your arms like you are signaling a touchdown in a football game. Have a partner lift the life jacket by the shoulders. The life jacket should come no higher than your chin. If it does, tighten the straps and try again. Try a different size life jacket if you are unable to, to get the correct fit. Sound producing device. Motorboats less than 65 feet in length must carry some mechanical means of making a sound signal. This device may be hand, mouth, or power operated. An athletics coach's whistle is an acceptable device for small motorboats. There are also lots of other regulations on fire extinguishers, navigation lights, and other items depending on the type of boat you are going to use. Review the Pennsylvania Boating Handbook to learn more about safe boating at www.fishandboat.com. Different boats for different folks. How you spend your time on the water will determine the type of boat you choose. Like cars and trucks, boats are designed and built for certain uses. Which boat should you use on your day at the lake? A canoe or kayak. They're good for beginners, easy to use, and stealthy when sneaking up on wildlife. An outboard or john boat. Takes more practice and skill, but it's a great way to get quickly to your favorite fishing spots. A jet boat. Lots of power and the best way to tow a water skier or tuber. Know the safety regulations on towing others. A pontoon boat. A large stable boat great for a relaxing picnic with friends and family when out on the water. There are always options if your family does not have their own boat to take to the lake. You can always borrow one from a friend or rent a boat for a few hours or the day. Some local county and state parks with lakes will also have boat rentals available in the summertime for visitors. Just make sure you have all the required safety equipment and review the regulations in the Pennsylvania Boating Handbook to ensure a safe day out on the water. Let others know before you leave. A float plan should be filled out and left with a reliable person before you leave on all boating trips. The plan lets others know where you are going, when you expect to return, who is going with you, and what emergency measures or rescue organization should be notified in the event you do not return as scheduled. Remember, never boat alone and always wear a life jacket. What fish can you expect to catch at your day at the lake? Unscramble the following words to find out. Fish include the largemouth bass, the bluegill, the carp, the channel catfish, the black crappie, the yellow perch, the pumpkin seed sunfish, the rock bass, the brown pool head, the chain pickerel, and the smallmouth bass.